back when I owned a Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, I was really impressed with the optical character recognition built into the operating system. Simply pull out the stylus, click the button, and drag out a box. Samsung's version of Android would then take a picture of that part of the screen and do optical character recognition on the image and pull out any recognizable text. This was really handy for text everywhere, including newly taken photos. Then one day, after running software updates, this feature was nowhere to be found. In any case, I set out to duplicate the optical character recognition feature for the Libra 5. Since the Libra 5 doesn't have a built-in stylus, I went with a gesture base interface. This part of the script listens for a three-finger tap from the Libra 5 screen. When the app detects a trigger tap, it prompts you with two options. The most important part lets you draw out a box and run optical recognition on that part of the screen. What this is actually doing is waiting for you to drag out a box, then taking a screenshot and cropping it down to the selected part. The cropped image is then fed into Tesseract, and then the output is put into the Wayland clipboard, or rather, it reads the selected part of the screen. The second main feature is the clipboard reader. If you tap with three fingers, then tap once, Calculator. the script checks to see if anything is highlighted and reads that. If nothing is highlighted, it reads from the copy and paste buffer. Text to voice is done by selling out to Google and playing the audio files that come back. Now that this app at least kind of works, it can really come in handy if you're not sure how to pronounce a word or if you need to copy text out of an image. Because this uses optical recognition, it's not always perfect at reading what's on screen, but it allows you to copy from just about anywhere. Well, except the middle of web pages. Clearly, it was a bad idea to make the selection before taking the screenshot. To give this some sort of UI, Pygame seemed like the lowest hanging fruit to display an image and a basic interface to drag out a selection. This is mostly the same, but with a bit of nice wrapping around it. Once this is opened, it takes a screenshot, then displays the screenshot for you to select out an area. You can cancel and reselect, or you can have it run the image to text part of the program. At any time, you can also have this app read what's in your clipboard. By default, it now uses eSpeak, but it can still use Google Voice if you configure it some. The biggest issue is this program has no trigger now. To fix this, I stripped down the original script to just a two-finger tap detector. Sadly, this didn't work as sometimes it ends up thinking that every tap is a two-finger tap. Fortunately, looking for a three-finger tap seems to work a lot better. This is what I ended up with for a detection script. To kick off everything automatically, this desktop file can be placed in the right place to start everything up after every reboot. Feel free to poke around or help out on this GPL3 project. Thanks for watching. Bye.